Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and welcome to our What's New at the Doodlebug. Today, it's not really a what's new. Um, we had a crazy day here at the store. We do a bi-monthly kit club. So today was the day that our kit clubs went out. So we worked on that. And we also went through, um, contacted quite a few of you that were super close to free shipping, um, got a hold of you and got your packages out the door. So uh, poor Leslie, I, um, she was a packing tape crazy woman for the first couple hours of her shift today. We had a huge stack go out. So a lot of you are going to be getting really fun creative boxes in the mail um if you're if we didn't contact you you may have not have been super close to free shipping so if you are wondering where you're at if we're holding some stuff you can always reach out to us and we can check on that for you but since we didn't get a whole lot in um we've got a new order but it's got a lot of new stuff in it and I can't show it to you. Um, I did stop. Oh, no, no. Um, so you can go, you can go back over there, Diane. We're going to revisit some fun stuff. We've got a huge order from Hero Arts that came in, but there's a big sticker on it that says I cannot show it to you until next week. So that's a total bummer. It's a great order too, but we're going to visit some of our favorite lines here for spring um, at the Doodlebug. We've got a lot, a lot, a lot of great new lines coming in. Um, Leslie's also working on getting those Echo Park pre-orders in for you guys so you can order those, but I want to show you some great products that we have for, for spring. They can be adapted for Easter as well too so i'm going to flip the camera around all right yesterday we got in that rouge collection pack and i told you it's just such a really pretty line i um, mean we just didn't have time yesterday to check it all out so i wanted to go through that line with you guys especially there's so many of you that are new to our lives new to the store and in this case also new to 49 and market so you may have missed this line before so first up we've got the collection kit that we looked at yesterday this is that beautiful art options rouge line and then there's also a six by eight pad for this one so looking at those colors you can see it's going to be a perfect one for spring and also summer there's also a great chipboard element set for this one. Flip it around here. You can see all the great little chipboard pieces in there. We've got tags for that set as well. Sounds like my cookie lady just got here. So pretty. This line here has a fabric tape set, and this is one that has the larger set in it, meaning you get more rolls of tape. So you've got one, two, three, four rolls, all fabric tape in here. You've got that great file set. These are fun for mini books, little interactive pages. I also like to use them on my scrapbooks as well. There's that one. I think that is my favorite print in the whole line, that butterfly one there. Then we have got um, laser stickers. I forgot to move that laptop. I will, yeah, it just, it, you can set it on the floor even wherever you want. It's, it's got a broken hinge, so we don't move it very often. So, yeah. So we've got the laser wildflowers here for this line. I'm going to flip it around so you can see the dimension, the texture on these, and again, how close those lasers are cut in. So there's the rouge lasers. Okay, look at these. These are perfect for Valentine's Day as well. So if you are working on cards or any kind of tags, mini books, candy favors, anything like that, check out this line or th these rub-ons. They are going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. And here I'm gearing this as a spring line it totally is a valentine's day line too maybe we should move this up front with the valentines i love this xo rub on set the great little splatters i love the flowers in here as well and look there's even butterflies in this one and there is a whole sheet that's got like little doilies and stitching. Love the stitching. This is a six by eight size rub on pack. You're going to get six sheets. So one of each, the ultimate page kits. 
This is a great one as well. So you've got everything to make four pages in here. So ultimate page kit, the cluster kits. Now this one, um, remember they're not doing cluster kits anymore. And this one here was, is a really good cluster kit. So these are good for card fronts. I like to use like, especially this nice long one. That's my scrapbook page. Put some layers behind it. You could even put a couple bigger photos underneath it. So cluster kit is great. Got that. Now we also have some papers underneath here. These papers are actually from um, the Blossom line. So then they also do solid color lines. And we opened up some of the Blossom ones or had those open stock. These are perfect to go with this Rouge collection as well. Um, with these, they don't really have names. So this one here is Blossom number three. Here's more number three. This is Blossom number one. Blossom number two. There's the back on that one. And Blossom number four. That one's really pretty. Love that watercolor in it. That would be just, you know, really neat if you just use that as a die cut page for die cutting your flowers out, give them a little bit of a different look. In that blossom, we do still have quite a bit of that. We try and keep a lot of the colors in for a while. So we've got the blossom rub-ons. We've got the blossom laser cuts. And we also have the blossom 12 by 12 collection kits too. So fun stuff there. So that's one of my favorite lines. Like I was saying for spring, but I think that is totally going to be a great one for Valentine's Day as well. And then this one here. So we're going to be moving this guy back up front here shortly. Love this line. Um, it is such an awesome line. And they just released a few more inspiration layouts. So I will post that in the comments on here as well. This line is called um, Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. So it is a stunning, stunning line. I think I'm going to start with the line first and then we'll look at embellishments on this one so sticker sheet right here we have this in open stock and collection kits as well collection kits going to have one of each paper and then it's also going to have a sticker sheet this paper here is the elements journaling or journaling elements i'm reading upside down and i also read it backwards and then here is the other side of that one great cut apart page this next one is called my favorite so I know it's upside down, so I'm pulling it out so we can, this is how we have it, so we can read the label there. So it looks like typewriter keys, and then the other side is a great collage. This one here, you're going to love this one. This one's called Shine Bright. So on the back, is a nice little subtle solid, but look at this one. Is that not beautiful? I love all those beautiful butterflies, and the colors are amazing in this line. Next up, this one is called three by four elements. So you've got all these great little three by fours that you can use for card fronts, little pull outs, and then the back is just this great diagonal print. Next, we've got, um, this one is called make time. You've got a great dot on one side, and then you've got this kind of cluster on the other. And I'm gonna pull this real quick. I wanna do something. Um, so whenever you do the doodle bug page kit that I did, um, you only get one of this dot in there and they used it twice. I used it twice on my pages. So that's a hard one, but look, friends, I think you could sub this dot in there. Oh yeah, that would match perfect um, because we were trying to figure out what you could use in place of that dot in the kit and there's lots of things you could use in that doodle bug kit as well but this dot would look perfect for those so if you um, have shopped and you're going to recreate these pages you may also want to pick up this make time from the life in bloom line and then that way you, you won't even tell the difference Here's that tag sheet. You know I love these tag sheets. 
This one is called Tag Elements. So there's always a journal side and then a print side. Beautiful. Wrong spot. Next up, this one is called Beautiful Things. And here's the back of Beautiful Things. This one is called Happy Memories. This one we are almost out of. That great little camera down there. This one is called Four by Six Elements. And here's the back. Yeah. Oh, is that the back? Yep, yeah, that is the back. Making sure. That is the back. Um, this one is called Celebrate Life. This one is what they just used for um, one of the brand new inspiration layouts they did. And that's the one I want to share with you because it's a brand new one that Simple Stories just did. This one is called Dream On. Love the back on that one. It's like the whole page is almost done for you. This one here is the 2x2 two two and 4x4 four four elements. And then we also have a great variety of open stock and page kits for the, um, the gingham that goes with it. This one here is called Bubblegum Green. I think that one's the teal. Yep, teal. And then um, Daffodil. Now, in the actual kit... There are, there's a purple one and a black one. We are, I think we're out. Let me see here. Oh, nope. We've got a couple on the shelf. We have just two pieces of the purple. And then this is a black one, but it actually matches another line. But we do have some black and gingham. Otherwise, it's all in the collection kit here. So that's kind of going through your papers. Then we also have the foam stickers for this line. So pretty. Like I told you, this is one line that I, I need to take it all home yet. Look at the little bees that are in here as well. Living my best life, capture the moment, life is beautiful. That's the chipboard stickers. These are the chipboard clusters. All kinds of great pieces in there. Here is the six by eight pad here. Decorative brads. Rub on sheets. There's two pieces or two sheets in here. So there's front and there's the back. The page pieces. Layered chipboard. Love the frames in this one. We have restocked this one so many times. Just look at the texture on that one as well, too. Lots of great colors in this one. That I mean, they're great colors in this line that where you could definitely mix this with other lines that you've got at home. Uh, we just restocked the washi tape. Showed you guys that one yesterday. Oh, move this little guy down to where he matches. My OCD kicking in. Floral bits. These are beautiful until you see the other side. Now, let, like if we were going to scrap lift another layout. So let's look at this one that I did with that doodle bug design slime. Now imagine it with the vintage life in bloom, similar layout, but using these all through here. Would that not be gorgeous? And then maybe a couple of the of them popped up, maybe one or two of the chipboard pieces as well. Use one of the titles. I love doing that. I love scrap lifting from myself, but that would be beautiful with this pack here of the floral bits. Those are so pretty. Floral bits, and then here's the regular ones. So the regular bits and pieces. Great stuff in there. Then we've got the ephemera. I love it. It looks like, you know, old um, library cards. 
And then last but not least for this line are the super cute, very springy glitter enamel dots. How fun are those? All right, well, like I said, friends, Nothing too crazy here today, but I did want to take you through just a couple lines that we had um, that are definitely what I thought was really springy, but then I'm showing you the one, and it's definitely Valentine's Day as well, too. So two great classic lines that we've got here in the store, especially if you are new to our lives, maybe new to paper crafting, um, just discovering 49 and Market, or maybe you just never saw them, and you're like, I need those in my life. So check them out. I will post here in the comments that great new page that Simple Stories just released for the Life in Bloom, which was kind of what made me just fall in love with it all over again. And I wanted to share that page with you, but I was like, oh, I'm just going to show them the whole new line again as well. So um, also over in the Doodlebug dish, we did do our football widow sale over there today, a little bit after three. So if you haven't checked out that video, pop on over to the Doodlebug dish. It is a private group. Um, so if you're not a member, just ask to join. We'll get you in there this evening. And that way you can, you know, be a part of the group. See, it's, it's a great place for inspiration. People share things all the time and we're always posting sale items in there as well, which you definitely don't want to miss out on. So until next time, friends, I'm Hannah at the Doodlebug. You have an amazing, crafty, blessed evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.